Football has changed. We are here at EA Play catching up on FIFA 17 and I think it's kind of fitting that we have the creative director here because it certainly feels like it's a more creative FIFA than what we're perhaps used to. There's there's a lot more that goes into sort of that that aspect of it. Would you, would you agree? Absolutely. It's a huge year for us for many reasons. Uh, and first and foremost is the move to Frostbite. And, and as you say, a move to a new engine um, allows us to do things creatively that we've never been able to do before. And obviously the big one we're here talking about today is the journey. That really is a mode that wouldn't be uh, doable without the power of Frostbite. So it's really opened up a lot of opportunities for us and a lot opened up a lot of uh, ability to show and do stuff that we've always kind of wanted to do, but never really had the engine to do that before. So um, yeah, it's a massive, massive year for us. Yeah, it feels like to sort of be a player come to sort of full come to full fruition if yep. you will and, and a little bit more like a like a movie if yep. you will more right. like a narrative that's driven there uh, but what, what kind of what kind of player freedom is there to sort of customize your own uh, sort of experience through the journey because right. that that has to be part of it as well well actually we, we you are locked to our uh, the character of Alex Hunter for the journey and the reason we did that is that we wanted to maintain the the immersion and the visual fidelity that allow we can only really do if we have a, a locked character mm -hmm. so if you allow a create kind of create player which we still have we still have the be a pro player mode so we've, that's not this isn't as a, a means to replace that so you do still have that opportunity but if we allow that we really you really can't hold the visual fidelity of that character up and similarly it, we can't nearly be as immersive if we allow you to create any player any name because now we've got you know the crowd chanting his name the commentators talking to him about him specifically so just having that locked player experience can create a much more emotional much more immersive and much more uh, visually uh, impressive mode so that's that's part of the reason so if you do want your created player experience we still have that in the the regular be a pro be a pro mode so it's more like it's reactive to what happens in your career what you do yeah. Will you be able to sort of tailor his play style yeah. and, and, and position? Yeah, so really that is the, the, the major um, element to it. We really wanted to create choice and variation. So the idea being that if we both play the journey and have a conversation about it after, our experience can be very different. So examples of that is you can sign for any of the English Premier League teams. So straight off the bat, that's a huge decision. You know, an experience for Bournemouth versus Man City could be very It's about the same, right? <laughs> yeah, well, kind of. Um, and then the other part of that is the questions that you answer throughout the journey will have a cause and effect. So that under the hood is driving a um, personality. So if you answer all fiery questions, you will become a fiery personality and that will manifest itself on the pitch. So you'll see how he reacts to being tackled. That will change. It will also drive certain content. So if you're the fiery guy, you may see certain scenes and experience different things that if I was the calm guy, I wouldn't. So everything is kind of a cause and effect within the mode. So every choice you make both on and off the pitch drives the journey differently. And then obviously how you play and what you do whilst you're on the pitch. None of that is scripted. Every kick of the ball in the, in the mode is entirely in, in your control. We don't force you to do things. So consequently, again, very different experience based on what you do. So if you go in and you hack someone down and get a red card, you will see scenes as a result of that, that if I'm not the kind of nice guy who never never goes in for the tackle, I won't see. So it's a big part of the journey, it's, it's a, a very uniqueness to, to it. And you can win certain things, you can lose, you can get relegated, that kind of thing. So there's a lot of choice, a lot of variation. So your journey is very unique to you. It's not on rails in any way uh, to that respect. So that was a very important part of when we came out of creating this. That is interesting though, because sort of from a from a drama perspective yep. you want to have the highs and the lows and that sort of thing but you're not sort of scripting that or are you sort of putting in sort of moments of yeah. highs and lows in there yeah so there is a main narrative through which uh, uh, the the main mode it goes it's this kind of side elements that are user driven so to that exact point it's hard to have a completely universal free free freedom of choice so there is a, a, a through narrative so to speak that will be the similar for everyone but over and above that there's all these sub scenes and variation based on the way you play and the way you answer questions and, and drive your personality and all that kind of thing so it's kind of the best of both worlds in that respect Managers is something that is a, a key element in football. Uh, they're taking, well, I, mean, I would say that they're they're becoming more and more sort of 
part of the game than, than ever before. And of course, the special one may be the best example of that. And, and uh, what, what, I mean, we understand that they're going to be in, in the journey. Um, you talked about three of them. You had Jose on, on stage. Will those be the four, four that are in there, or, or do you look to include everyone, or what's? So we'll do our best to include everyone. Obviously, uh, managers are, you know, it's quite a volatile world, the world of sports. Say. <laughs> so, I mean, from an authenticity standpoint, as you rightly say, managers are a huge part of football. You know, they're the figurehead of the club. In many respects, they're more of a personality than a lot of the players, but just the kind of the way football's gone. So we want to obviously, uh, being FIFA, be as authentic as possible. So we will be doing our best to get as many in as possible. We can't commit, obviously commit to numbers because yeah. we're affected by the real world. But it is a huge part and, and part of the journey and part of kind of peeking behind the curtain, which is the you know what the journey allows us to do, is allows us to do all the backroom stuff and uh, the managers are a big part of that. So that's why we wanted to bring them in. And, and will the manager also be part of the sort of the main game if you play with, say, Manchester United or, or Arsenal? Yeah, so you will see them in the kickoff. So you'll see them on the sidelines. You'll get cut to them. Uh, so yes, they, it's not they're not just purely unique to uh, the journey. So they will they will appear elsewhere. So obviously, you, you're putting a lot of focus on the Premier League with the yep. journey and and the managers and, and sort of that sort of thing. Is the idea to sort of spread out to other leagues later on, or or because I'm you know. This is an annual project. Maybe right. I'm spoiling something, but there will be other FIFAs. Is, wow. is that part of the plan, or, or is, is it is it just the Premier League that you feel is the focus? Or? So we can't talk about the future, obviously. Um, so to, to, uh, the reason we did the Premier League is we needed to to do a, again an immersive um, experience. We obviously needed to pick a league. We can't do 20 different stories, and, and a and a story in La Liga would be a very different story than in the English Premier League. So the reason we picked the English Premier League was. Just in the real world, it's by far and away the most popular league in the world. It's watched all over the world, you know, it gets viewing figures more than the Super Bowl just for kind of a regular game. So there's that element to it. It's also the most popular uh, league in our game. We kind of see what uh, use, teams users are playing. So the popularity in the real world is reflected in our game. It's also the, the league we've got um, the greatest coverage for, for certain assets like all the stadiums, all the player heads, the managers now. So there's that side of things. And then on top of that, it's also the most ethnically diverse league in the world. So I was I think, thinking of that because yeah. the four managers you had up, yeah, absolutely. Very, all different countries yeah. and, and, and different audiences. Yeah, and it's not just the managers, right? It's the players as well. I think there was a, a, a survey done in 64 nations worldwide are represented in the English yeah, Premier League. I think the only one that's not represented is England, right? <laughs> Well, we're represented. I don't know how well we're represented. That's the thing. <laughs> I think there are some 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 good ones, and 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 I think for the journey this year with Leicester City, which is like a fairy tale. I mean, it's 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 it sort of speaks to that sort of. It's something that we thought may that could happen in a video game, but not in the real world. If we'd have written that, people have said you you know that's that's fantasy. That's never going to happen, and that is another reason for it. It's a very open league, right? It's one of the most competitive leagues. There's no like real easy games in the Premier League. So for that reason, it's the most exciting league in the world. So that was another kind of reason we chose the Premier League. But yeah, absolutely incredible story from Leicester. I'm a Man City fan, so for a while I wasn't cheering for them. But as soon as we were that was a harsh few months there. Uh, yeah. So as soon as we were mathematically out for it, out, out of it though, I was a, I became a Leicester City fan because I think it's just. An, I, I could probably go out on a limb and say you'll never see that again in in, in in football, in sport even. For a team that was borderline relegation last year to go and win it this year, it's just incredible. And it, it, it speaks to the excitement of an emotion of football, which is kind of what we're trying to bring across in the journey. Of course, Ranieri is, is one of the, the masters of the game yeah. as well, and he could pull the, pull the best out of players that yeah. no, no other Premier League teams would have yeah. gone for before that yeah. season. No, it's incredible. I think when they played Man City, they did an analysis of the two teams, and I think our centre-back, Otamende, was worth more than the entire Leicester team. It's incredible. Like, Mares was like £400,000, which in football in terms is just, you know, nothing. So for them to have done what they've done, with that team, it's just, it's wonderful. I mean, you can't speak highly enough of them. Of them. So uh, yeah, long may it continue. All right, I think we've got uh, a good part of the, the story, the journey behind FIFA 17. Uh, anything that you feel that we've missed out on talking on that, that you feel is important to it? 
No, I think it's just to, just to reiterate what an exciting year it is for FIFA. It's one of the biggest years we've ever had. Uh, completely new game engine, completely new mode, new environments, new experience in FIFA that you've never had before, which is huge. And then on top of that, we've got all the gameplay. I mean, it's a huge year for gameplay as well. We haven't ignored gameplay. Gameplay is the core of the mode. Uh, we ignored it for the entire interview, though. <laughs> yeah, well, you didn't ask. <laughs> so let's talk about that. So yeah, gameplay, huge. We've got, like, got a, a, a huge suite of new features, total um, uh, set piece rewrites, completely new dribbling and physical system which changes things. Um, active intelligence, one of the biggest changes, so the intelligence of the players, they will move around over the pitch, look for space, more forward thinking. So a, a, a completely new level of intelligence for them and then new attacking techniques. So now you can hit the ball low and hard across the ground which is something you've not been able to do before. Um, so really it's a massive ignoring frostbite and journey if we didn't have those which obviously we do this would still be a massive year for fifa irrespective of those because there's so much in gameplay one thing that strikes me when i hear that is like get a little bit worried because when there's a lot of new things in fifa it can sometimes not be sort of that polished game right. and, and then maybe oh maybe i'll wait for next year because yeah, yeah. then you'll have caught up with all the new stuff no. and got you needn't worry you needn't worry it will be good it plays work great already we've got lots of feedback um, around events like this we, we did a european press tour recently unanimously positive feedback around the gameplay and around the journey and all the rest of it so and we still got a few months left so we're still tuning we're still we'll do still doing but i mean i don't know if you've had a chance to hop on the build now but i think you will you will your fears will be allayed when you get when you get a chance and then we've got like i say a couple more months to to tune it further sounds good Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Make them sing your name. When you play for the fans, that is when we win.